Uh, let me start with you, Matt. You throw five pitches. Now, I'm, I'm not a baseball expert, uh, to be, uh, but I'm fascinated by it. What is a four-seam fastball? Last I checked, there was only two seams tops on a, on a baseball. Well, it's kind of just one, I guess, connected seam. But when you throw the four-seam, it's just uh, it's all four of those rotation through the air. So the two seam is just the ball turned a little bit different. Okay. I have no idea what you just said. Right. So that's what I was saying. What interests me more is how you throw overhand like that. I throw like McCord, kind of a geriatric underhand looking thing. And because you were injured last year uh, and it seems so easy to get injured doing that. I don't know. I think it was my mom's fault. I think she just taught me how to throw overhand. Maybe she should have taught me underhand. <laughs> Well, listen, Charles, you were born in Augusta, Georgia, uh, yeah. and played golf early, then yeah. kind of quit, but it was Darius Rucker who got you back into it? It was, it was. He's out, unfortunately not here this week, but we were out on tour uh, a few years ago, and he plays every day, and, and I definitely attribute Darius Rucker to giving me the bug. I mean, I'm addicted. addicted. So it's his fault. It's his yeah. fault. And there's a similarity, too, between music and golf. You know the rhythm? It, you know, I think there is. There's a little bit of that one, two, three, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't always work out You know that way. This is it's much more nerve-wracking to play golf in front of people than perform in front of people. Well, you guys have played great tonight from what I've seen. Keep really it up. Good. He hits Keep the it ball up. We go to gym. <laughs>